Good morning. Hi, boys and girls. Thanks so much for joining us again this week. Today, we're going to be talking about Pentecost. This weekend in the church, we celebrate Pentecost. It's like the birthday of the church. Do you like birthdays? I know I love to celebrate birthdays. So this is a very exciting weekend. It's the celebration of the day that Jesus shared the Holy Spirit with his disciples, just like he promised he would. Let's start today with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to be thinking about some of the things we might have done this week, or maybe we didn't make a good choice. Maybe we weren't very kind. And remember that God always forgives us if we're really sorry deep in our heart. So let's say our sorry prayer. I'll say the words and then you say the words. Dear Lord Jesus, hear our prayers. As we bring to you our cares, help us to be kind each day in our thoughts and all we say. All right. Now, I'm going to read you a story about the day that Jesus brought the Holy Spirit to his disciples. Now, remember, Jesus has died. He was crucified on the cross. He came down from heaven and stayed with his friends for a few days and then went back up and is in heaven with God, his father. His disciples were sad. They missed their friend Jesus. And they didn't know how they could go on without him. But Jesus had asked them to keep preaching the good word, to keep spreading all of the love that Jesus had brought and shared with them. They didn't know how to do that. So here's what happens next. This is from the book of Acts. The disciples had gathered together in Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. As they were praying together, the room was suddenly filled with the sound of a powerful wind, which roared through the house. Then what looked like small tongues of fire appeared and spread out to touch each one of the disciples. So it was that they were filled with the Holy Spirit on that day. At once in their excitement, they rushed outside to tell everybody what had happened. They began to speak and they were amazed to find that they could talk in foreign languages that they never could speak in before. People from lands far, far away had gathered in the crowd to listen to these men from Galilee. They were amazed, and these people began to believe in Jesus Christ. So it was from that day on that the disciples went around telling everybody about Jesus. They shared all that he had taught them. They were no longer afraid for whatever, for wherever they went, Jesus went with them. Now his spirit lived inside of them and they would never feel alone again. Now think about how you would feel sitting in a house in a room with all of your friends and suddenly a loud howling wind starts to whip through the room. But the windows are closed, the doors are closed. How could the wind get in? Do you think you would feel scared? How do you think the disciples felt? Do you think they felt surprised when they heard that wind? How do you think the Holy Spirit changed those disciples? Well, we heard in the story today that many of them got very courageous and they were no longer scared to go out and spread the good word of Jesus. They had the ability to speak languages they never knew they could speak before. And that allowed people from all over the world to hear and understand the good news of Jesus. The Holy Spirit that day brought seven gifts to the disciples. Seven gifts. That's a great birthday party, isn't it? The Holy Spirit brought joy, love, patience, kindness, understanding, reverence, another word for respect, and courage. Seven things, joy, love, patience, kindness, 
understanding, reverence, and courage. Wow, that's a lot of gifts from the Holy Spirit. And those help the disciples go out and spread the word of Jesus all over the world. The Holy Spirit helps us follow the path of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is what helps us stay on the right track and make it to heaven. The Holy Spirit gives us all those same gifts. They all live right inside of you. Do you know the first time you received those gifts? It was at your baptism. That's the first time the Holy Spirit is invited to come down upon us. And then when we get a little bit older and we get confirmed, then that power of the Holy Spirit is refreshed. So the Holy Spirit lives in all of us and those seven gifts live in us every day. So we don't need to feel afraid or scared because Jesus is with us. Jesus is with us all the time. And those seven gifts of the Holy Spirit are too. So I, I hope that you take those seven gifts from the Holy Spirit and you go out and you share them with the world. You take your courage and your understanding and your love and your kindness and your patience and you bring it out to everyone you meet so that they can see the light of Jesus living inside of you. Now for our activity today, because it's the birthday of the church, I've attached a birthday card. And you can decorate that birthday card and share it with those that you love, just like you would for any other birthday. So take some time this weekend and celebrate the birthday of the church and use those gifts wisely that the Holy Spirit has given to you. Let's end with our creed where we talk about all the things we believe in. I'll say the words and then you say the words. We believe in God the Father who made the whole world. We believe in Jesus the Son, who died on the cross for us and rose from the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who brings life and love to us all. We believe that the church is one family and that one day we will share everlasting life with God in heaven. Amen. And for our closing prayer today, I'll read the prayer and you just sit back and think about these words in your heart. Come Holy Spirit and fill our hearts with your love. Work through us to bring Jesus to those who do not know him so that we may share his love with others. Amen. And let's end with the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me this week, boys and girls. I hope you have a wonderful weekend celebrating the birthday of the church, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.